For today's video, we want to talk about tabs, sometimes referred to as bridges in Lightburn. On the left, the red tabs are manual, and on the right, the green tabs are automatic. So let's get rid of this. Now tabs are used uh, if you want to create punch outs. So you can leave everything attached to whatever, whether it's a kit or a puzzle or whatever it may be, and then the end user can punch those out. And it allows you to mail them in a flat rather than take it, punching them all out yourself and uh, mailing them in a box. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a good thing. So you should have, over in the creation tools, you should have a tabs button. If you don't see it there for some reason, go up to tools and you'll find it here. But if your version is later than 0 0.9.15, uh, you should be okay. Now, prior to this version of tabs being available, uh, the punch outs would have to be accomplished by using the preparation mode which still works fine. And I've done a video recently on it, and if you hadn't seen it, I'll drop it down in the description, and you can go check it out if you like. So you, we have our puzzle. We have a border around it, and the border uh, I've left not grouped in with everything else because I don't want any tabs on the outside edge. I just want them on the inside. They'll still pop in sometime, but that's okay. We can deal with it. And the puzzle, the sample puzzle name, is a fill. So it gets ignored anyway. So let's just select everything. Go over to your um, cut line. Double click. Open it up. And here you see tabs and bridges. So you want to click to enable that. You can see we're on manual mode, and the tab size is 0.5 millimeter. So, and you can change that. We'll go through some of this that you can change. But do that, and then click OK. Then go over to the uh, tab selection and click that. Now, we're in manual mode. So you'll see, now remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. But scroll in and you can get to the edge and you can see uh, you get crosshairs. And if you left click, you can put tabs wherever you like. And then everything on this piece will be cut except the little spot right there which is 0.5 millimeter okay let's back up now click your selector tool go back to your cut layer double click and open it up go to automatic and click automatic you'll get a warning that tells you you have some manual tabs in place and they'll be removed click yes now everything is automatic. You can see we have some around the edge, but they'll go away. Uh, I've had a couple of times that a few of them didn't go away. So uh, you can just, I'll show you how to get rid of them. So we have our even spacing. You can limit or set the number of tabs per piece. You can see we have four on each of these tabs or tap four on each piece. So if we set this to three, click OK, everything goes away. So, no, they're still there. Uh, so now you can see there's three on each one. So you can limit it that way. You can also set a max number of tabs here. I guess you got to take that off. You got to put it back on even spacing and then you can limit the number of tabs that you want. So let's put it back on tabs per shape. And while we're in here, if you had um, 
some inner shapes like an eyeball or something like that that you you didn't want tabs on you want it to go ahead and cut out then you could cl click skip inner shapes but remember if you selected everything in the beginning then you have your border so everything contained would be considered an inner shape and it would remove them all and you don't want that but you can play around with it and you can get it exactly the way you want it so we're going to click ok and you can see they're gone now but they're not really gone let's go up to preview the microphone shaking around for some reason and if you scroll in really close you can see <clears throat> excuse me you can see that they're still here they're just not showing up uh, with the green tabs now if we uh, let's say we didn't want certain ones on there we could go back and we could go to manual mode click OK click our button again and then we can just double click and we can get rid of let me scroll in you can double click and get rid of them uh, now let's go back again once I figure out how to use something partially uh, I like playing around with it so uh, that's how you learn let's go back to automatic it's gonna tell us again that we have our manual ones because we messed with it as so we have a stray one up here we'll get rid of that in a minute uh, so let's leave it on automatic and it should have put those back that we took out let's click, click OK click our button over here again and that upper one's not showing anymore I don't know why so we're going to scroll in so even though this is automatic you can still change it if you make any change at all it reverts back to manual so you can move these around and put them wherever you want but any any change and it goes back to manual which is you know it's fine once you get it to where you want it uh, you'll be good to go so uh, let me look real quick see if there's anything else in here I believe that's it oh you can set even spacing let's say we're on automatic get rid of that again we're on automatic the tab size is 50 but if we go to even spacing uh, depending on your project you can change that we'll put it on a hundred and see what happens probably jumble them all up now we're still good uh, but you can work with that and uh, get it exactly working the way you want it for your specific project uh, so that's about all I know about this right now if I learn more I'll let you know uh, that's still bugging me I don't know why that's up there so if I learn more I'll let you know about it uh, you go out and work with it and uh, if you learn something new please let me know I appreciate the comments and the questions it helps me as a newbie and it helps uh, other folks that come across it so thank you very much so uh, if this was helpful please like and subscribe uh, it not only helps the channel grow uh, it helps keep me in the shop making videos I enjoy doing it and sharing knowledge and I hope it's helpful so just check back often for new videos take care and we'll see y'all next time thank you